Desire and Lust, Summary of a Lecture At that moment he knew, not blight from wheat, discernment flies from one that is drunken with vain desires. If you are after desire and lust, it will take away your power of discernment. Here, desire does not mean desire from improving your life, education, or even earning money, which are good for our everyday life. That is not what Rumi is talking about. What he is talking about is the vain desire to be like someone else. The scobs that drown you in a swamp. In a lust to replace someone else. To perform miracles like prophets that would be rid of the mind plays like Rumi. And don't understand that this lust and desire is yet another form of mind at its game. Problem is that you don't know who the person you try to imitate really is. Do you really know if the leader, guru, or elder has reached the stage you desire to reach? I enroll in a political party desiring to be a leader. All of it for the wrong reason of love-hate desires. Why do we do it? Because we are not ourselves. That is the most important issue. We are lost behind all lusts, behind all the masks. What Masnavi is trying to reconcile us with is ourselves. To be the one we ought to be. To be the one you are. These beautiful words, they say about how a man should be, like being a perfectionist, and so on, have made you what you are not. Just be who you are. It is so sad that we are not who we are, but we want to be someone else. We want to be good mothers, to be good businessmen, to be good followers, to be like models they've created for us, just to imitate the imaginary person we have created in our own minds. Lust and desire are not only for money. They may be good or even necessary for day-to-day -day life, but not for finding yourself. For you to become someone is just to be yourself. The love-hate relationship with the material world, all the lust and desires to become something else, to become perfectionist, Sufism is not for that. Here, you have to come to find your own path, to know yourself. Here, if you are a good mother, then you are a good mother. I am not talking about the education and acquired knowledge. If you are a bad mother, no matter how much education you have, you are still a bad mother. If you want to play this role, when you are not true to yourself and when you go after desire and lust, then you are lost. All of us are drunk with the desire and lust, spend a lifetime pursuing different ideologies, and at the end we realize they were all for nothing.